Hi guys, welcome back. Today, let's work on getting that hitbox placement for our sword correct that we didn't do last episode. While we're at it, let's add some shadow under our player and skeleton. Let's go! Just a quick reminder, all of the code I cover in my videos can be found on GitHub. Each episode will have its own branch. There's also a Discord server for this channel. Come in and say hello. If you wish to go the extra mile to support my work, you can do that on my Buy My Coffee page or becoming a member here on YouTube. Links can be found in the description below. Let's start by just looking at our character and how it looks. As we can see, the hitbox is touching our character hit hitbox, and that is not correct. Let's hide the actual sword image, then we can actually see how much of the hitbox that is not in the correct spot. So here is the image. Da, 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 da. Yeah, let's just hide all of that. And also, while we're at it, where's our draw? I'm getting confused here. Draw player, if attacking, draw weapon. Let's just draw a weapon all the time, for now, so we can easily see it. All right, running it up, starting it up. As soon as I start attacking, the player sprite is inside the weapon sprite, which is not ideal. So we're losing a couple pixels because of this uh, mismatch. And to solve it, it won't be that complicated. But we can start by bringing the weapon back. And we're going to start by adding those offsets that we removed last episode for our sprite. But adding them back to our hitbox for the sword. We might as well just start with the down direction for the weapon. As that is our default position. So as you can see, there is a bit mismatch from the weapon's uh, handle to the player's hand. So we need to move the hitbox to the left a little bit. And we have up, down, so here. Here we have a player dot left plus that in scale multiplier. What we can do is to reduce this one or by adding minus x offset. But uh, if we add yet another value here, the text is going to get harder to read. So let's just remove some values here. Let's uh, Let's try 0 0.5 float and see how that that translates to the position. I mean, that's good. That's almost perfect, but we kind of went over a little bit. Let's try 0 0.5 by 0 0.75. That might be the perfect value. I'd say that's better. Yeah, we're going to keep that. So the position for the hitbox in the downward direction is perfect. Right is, or left I mean. We just need to move it outward. So let's take a look what we have here. Left minus. Da, ba, 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 ba. Here we might just go with minus x underscore draw offset. Will it detect it? Um, Alt enter. Let's give it a try and see how it how it looks here on the left direction. That's down. I'd say that looks much better. So it's just the offset that really needs to be added. All right, let's go with up. Here we need to move it in our world view up and also a little bit to the left. You can see the player's hand sticking out there. Let's uh, let's work on X first. So just like we did here, we're here. We can reduce some values here. Let's go with 0.5 float and see if that looks better. It's better, but it's still not good. So let's move it a little bit more. Uh, let's actually try minus half. So we're moving it a little bit to the left of the hitbox X position. We can't really see if it's looking good because it's so far down. So we need to move it up. And what we need to do is just to say minus y draw offset. And that should probably solve our y issue or height issue. Yeah, that looks good. Then all we have is right direction. Let's see how that looks. So I think we just need to move it to the right. So here we have our x and then our y value so just x plus x draw offset should do the trick 
Let's give it a try. Yeah, that looks good. Down, left, up works, and also now right. Beautiful. All right, so that was the position for our weapons hitbox. And if we ended the episode now, it would be a very short episode. I want shorter episodes, but not this short. So what we can do is to add a shadow underneath our characters. So as you can see, there's nothing, it's just right there. So we wanna add a little shadow and, and good for us is that there already is a shadow in the sprite. It's a, it's a very simple image, but it is 12 by seven and our hitbox is 12 by 12 for our character. So I think it's not gonna be very difficult to work with the values here. And first off, we need to add this image. So let's drag and drop into our drawable. Shadow.png, correct trouble, yes. Now, here's the question. Of course, we could make a new, let's take here is an enum. Of course, we could uh, make a new enum, ba, 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 but I don't think we're going to have that many images for our characters or any type of our entities that is just a image. Uh, especially not now in the beginning. So a workaround will be to put this shadow image in a enum that doesn't have any mm. animation. So we can't put it in here. Oops, that looks weird. So we can't put it in here because we have two different sprite sheets, one ta 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 ta, so this wouldn't fit. But our weapons enum is just a image or just an image and then we can get that image. It's gonna be a weapon, it's gonna say get weapon image, but we want the shadow in here. So it's a workaround to save us from adding yet another enum. We can move it later if there starts to be more, I don't know, effects that we're gonna add for our characters. But shadow, r.drawable.shadow. That's about it. Now it's in here. So in our playing class, da, da, da. let's start with a player and just see if we can add the shadow to him. There's draw player. And you don't want the shadow above the player, you want it behind the player, but at the bottom. So let's just start by drawing it. So draw bitmap weapons dot shadow get weapon image, but you know, it's a shadow. The position is gonna be player dot get hitbox dot left. I think that's gonna be good enough because it's 12 by seven. I think it was seven. Yeah, it's a 12 by seven image and our hitbox is 12. So it might work out perfect for us. And then for Y player dot get hitbox dot bottom. Uh, we're gonna probably have to move it up a bit because we don't want the but we're gonna start with this and then of course null for the paint so let's give this a try i'm pretty sure we're gonna need to move the shadow upward a little bit but uh, it will be a good starting point so yeah we have the shadow in here but it's <laughs> it makes it looks like the player is jumping which he is not or floating so we want to move him up uh, minus Let's go 10 times game constant dot sprite dot scale multiplier. So we always get the correct value. We might need to adjust it, but let's give it a try. And the shadow is in, in there, but I think it's <laughs> right behind the player. Let's go five. And uh, yeah, let's hide that weapon. Or let's go back to normal. It's just blocking some of the view. Yeah, I'd say that looks good. Yeah, we can work with that. That's perfect. So minus five and the hitbox. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's take this copy and go to our characters. Draw character. And at the top here, C dot oh, canvas. Named it something different in here, weapon, da, 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 but not player get hitbox. C for character hitbox. C for character, da, 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 da. yep. Is that it? Was it 
that simple. Nope. Oh boy, what's going on? <laughs> okay. Um, that is not looking correct, but as you can see, it's moving weirdly when I'm moving as well. But when I stay still, it's just an offset. That, my good friends, is because of the camera, which we didn't take into account. So plus camera X for bottom, ba -ba 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 -ba, plus camera Y. How about now? All right, so it's not messing with the camera and it looks good. So yeah, that looks, uh, that looks perfect. There we go. We fixed the hitbox for our weapon and also added some simple shadow for our characters. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. Take care now and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye.